Okay, well, that's going to be my quick little review of the uh, the new uh, Kodak PlaySport ZX5. I'll do a little comparison with the ZX3 and the uh, ZI8, which is not even showing on uh, Kodak's front page anymore. It's still listed on the on the sidebar, but in their main page, it's not there anymore. They must be phasing the old gal out. Now I'm doing this in a uh, and my wife's it was actually a playhouse, but my wife has converted it into a uh, into a craft a craft room. It's pretty dark in here. I mean, usually taking pictures. Um, well, I come out here, goof around, taking pictures while she's out here messing around. It's it's like a ISO 800 type type shot. So if the light's bad, I apologize. So I've had the uh, the play sport since Monday. It's now uh, Thursday, the 17th. I got it on the fifth. Was that the 15th? 14th. So I've had t some time to play with it. Um, I know there's a lot of people concerned with with a uh, battery life on this thing. Well, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. I've uh, let's see if I can hold this thing up so you guys can see the screen. This is the one. Uh, it's not going to focus on it. Uh, one of the things about the the uh, the ZX5 compared to the uh, uh, ZX3 is a screen. I got paint on my hands, I'm moving stuff around. I found some wet paint in here. Um, screens way better, noticeably better. And uh, I don't know how I can accurately display this. I may have to try to do this at a at a different time or something. Let's see if I can hold these together and then grab the camera. Yeah, let's see here. Can, can I do that? Maybe my hands aren't big enough to do that. But uh, the screen always had kind of a milky look to it on the ZX3. Um, ah, I'm getting too close. Film this with a Canon uh, G12. So uh, I guess I'm going beyond its minimum focus range here. Anyway, you can see the color is definitely better. It doesn't have that milky look to it. Just a much more pleasant... Oh, am I getting that paint on my camera? Much more pleasant to shoot with. And the... I don't know if you can tell with this, but the screen is kind of slightly rounded on the uh, ZX3. And it's scratched very easily unbelievably easy did it, did it scratch I've been packing this thing around in my pocket been throwing it in a desk drawer at work and uh, having a no noticeable scratches on it at all and uh, kind of amazes me that Kodak doesn't play this thing up more more than what they have maybe it's because they got a lot of these in stock or something or the threes in stock but this is just an awesome awesome camera there's there, it does things better that that they're not capitalizing on one of the things I've noticed almost immediately is the digital um, image stabilization is considerably better especially when you zoom the zoom is smoother doesn't seem to be quite as notchy as this it still steps but not as notchy and you know you get all the way out full zoom yeah it's it's not very good you uh, you know about five clicks of the zoom six clicks it's still good seven eight nine and ten clicks out it starts to get pretty bad but uh you know at six clicks in zoomed in uh you know from full out it's uh it's very usable and it zooms in quite a bit you'd be surprised the difference um the auto focusing lens way cool um let me see if i can get an example here on minimum uh minimum focus let me find something that's bright um minimum focus on the the uh, ZX3 is like three feet. The uh, ZX5 is with it in auto mode is about three inches. Look at this when I can I get that in the camera? Yeah, I don't know if that's coming out very well in the camera. I think I might be too close to the Kodak here. Um, let me pull out a little bit. <laughs> hey, hey, don't do that. Oh no, I got paint somewhere. Look what I just did, I got paint on it. Oh man. 
I guess she should have warned me that she had pain out here. Crap, I probably got it everywhere. There's a... She's got... Had a little... I don't even know where I picked it up from. She's got a little plate there. Um, I don't think she's been out here in a while, so... One would think it's dry, but apparently not. And I have no idea where I picked that up from. So, I'll have to look at my stuff when I'm done here. But anyway... Um, I think I mentioned before the uh, power buttons on the side on the three which uh, I thought I might feel a little weird with this one being on the top um, oh another cool thing light comes on when it's running or on the light is on uh, anyway about the minimum focus really cool auto focusing lens very very cool um, one problem I found I do shoot things I hate to say driving down the road yeah, I don't really eyeball the camera. You know, I've kind of done it enough that I know not to not to take my eyes off the road. I just kind of you know pan around with it. It rains a lot here in Washington, so I get a. Um, it focuses on the on the windshield. You know, if you ever done that with a with a cheaper um, digital camera, where you can't manipulate the focus, it. Uh, it'll focus on the on the windshield this one this one does the same thing if I hold it closer to the shield it'll still try to focus hit the windshield wipers wham it goes right outside the window when it's not raining probably not a problem when it's raining it's uh, it, it's tough the film outside the car but um, overall just absolutely love it I love the black it's got a stealthy look to it um, I thought this one was a, was thinner width wise. It's not. They're both the same size. It's a one tenth of an inch thinner. I and mean, it could be just the bulge bulge in the in the lenses. Who knows? I I mean, you really can't tell the difference. I think the black just fooled me when I pulled it out of the box. But um, anyway, uh, I ran about an hour's worth of video and. Uh, the battery, which I don't know why, but the battery doesn't constantly stay on the screen. I mean, it shows up for a bit when you when you power up, but uh, after an hour, it was still three quarters full, and I think they're advertising uh, um, three hours. I mean, uh, I'm sorry, that's not right. They're, they're advertising two hours of battery life. There was some concern, you know, not having the the replaceable battery like the. Uh, the ZX3 has, but uh, hasn't been a an issue at all, and I don't foresee it being an issue. Oh, that's the other thing too; the things are kind of reversed of each other. The uh, the ports are backwards, but this one just has the memory card. Obviously, no replaceable battery, like the three did. Um, this one, geez, I don't think I've even recorded anything off of this, and I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's about three quarters. This one after about an hour, three quarters, and the uh, the adjust the, the light adjusting on the screen for different light conditions really really cool works great. You can see the little little eye in here where it's you know monitoring you know ambient light. Um, the uh, lens is slightly wider. It has a it only looking at the specs on Kodak's site. It doesn't look like it's that much difference, but you do have a, a wider field of view, um, you know, at, at a 35 millimeter equivalent, which is nice. Um, the video quality, it seems to be about the same. Low light seems to be about the same, but a much more pleasant, punchier look out of the five than the three did. Um, I did a couple of quick little things in the. Uh, uh, in the other modes you got the the effects you have normal you know and high saturation 70s film 70 film you know it's it, it's kind of cool but it's not something I'd use a lot um, the black and white's cool sapia you know if you're in the sapia that, that works pretty good the high saturation maybe maybe a little too much saturation but it's still cool um, I haven't done anything underwater video resolution. You know, I did a couple in in 1080 just to see what it, what it looked like, and 
Um, my computer's not really fast enough to play them, so it, it's tough to tell. I can't hook it up to my um, HDTV because I don't have the uh, cable. Um, this one uses a micro HDMI cable instead of a mini um, HDMI like the, the 3 does. Um, if you watched my first video, I said, oh, you know, it's a new cable. Where am I going to find the cable? Um, a gentleman um, replied to my video and says, look at your registration card. If you register, they'll give you a, a cable for free. And uh, I did find that. I did get the email from them. I had to register twice, though, oddly enough. The second time, I got the email with the offer for the free cable. And uh, the cable's out of stock, so... I'll save the code. There's a code you got to punch in uh, when you're checking out uh, for the free cable. I think you have to pay shipping on it, but uh, it's uh, who knows when it'll when it'll be available. But uh, anyway, really cool camera. Um, I'm not worried about battery life at all. That's the least of my concerns. One of the cool things I don't really take pictures with these because they're um, they're, they don't even, they're cell phone quality pictures. Um, my iPhone 4 takes way better pictures. Yeah, these have kind of a, you know, looks like it's, uh, digital noise reduction softwares, a little overused in the pictures. But what's cool with the pictures on this, you simply hit the uh, record button and it toggles back and forth. Video, picture. It's awesome. And the screen is even wider yet when you're taking a still picture. Um, I want to say it's like 33. What's weird, if you look up the specs on the wide-angle lens, it shows this one, you know, at 720, at uh, 40 millimeters at 35 millimeter equivalent, and this one at 33. But if you look at the specs alone on this one, it shows this one at 33. But it's it's a noticeable difference in a, in a field of view. I mean, you, you you can simply see it right there. I mean, I get a much wider uh, picture out of this. But uh, what else can I say about it? Oh, speaker works way better, way better. Um, I haven't tried it in water. You know, these these uh, the threes were notorious for getting a, like a little you know pellet of water in them after you took them out of the water. I don't think you're gonna have an issue with this one at all. I don't, I, there's not even a really a place for it to stick. So uh, I haven't tried it underwater. I, I will do that and let you guys know. The share thing, I absolutely will never use that. Um, I, you know, anything I'm gonna upload, I'm a, you know, I, I'll use my phone if I need something to upload, you know, directly, you know, on scene. And besides, this shares only when you when you sync it with your computer. And I, I just, I will never use that. I haven't even set up the accounts in there at all. So. Um, I'm sure that'll be really cool for some people. It means nothing to me. I just won't use it. Um, overall, I absolutely love this one. I love the three to death. This is a whole nother world. Not having to go into macro mode, which there is a macro mode that brings it even closer. It's like two, two and three quarter inches as opposed to like three inches in, in auto, but compared to 39 inches, huge difference. Um, I hate to spoil the show here, but <laughs> looking at screens, you know, there's no comparison between the infamous, of course i got to put this in macro mode, this awesome screen on the ZI-8. I mean, that's really, really sharp and clear. Put it in macro mode here so, so you can see it a little bit better. I mean, much brighter, much sharper picture. But I, you know, I think it's something to do with it being waterproof. There's, there appears to be more shielding on it where this, the, the LCD is very close to the surface on the three, where this one seems to be very deep. So it's probably got some kind of uh, shielding, you know, to deal with uh, water pressure and whatnot. But you know, didn't really like the three screen. You know, that was one of the things that drove me nuts when I was using it. But. Uh, I the this solves all the problems. If you were on the fence of going, you know, because I know they got these on sale. What are you talking? Thirty dollars difference? You'd be crazy not to buy the five. And if you're worried about batteries and not being able to throw batteries in this, come on. You know, I've got an hour 
hours worth of recording time and I still had three quarters of a battery, I I don't think I get much more than an hour out of this one before I'm flopping another battery in it. In fact, that was one of the first purchases was the extra battery for this thing. This one, I mean, geez, two hours of video? What are you going to... You can be, you know, maybe if you're in some natural disaster like just happened, you want to do some really long recording. I just can't imagine doing two hours of recording on this thing before I, you know, hook it up to a laptop or my desktop or something. And uh, that's one other thing. They uh, advertise uh, it takes four and a half hours um, hooked up using the little uh, charge dongle thing like an iPhone has, or five hours um, hooked up to a USB port. Um, this thing was deader than dead. I, I ran it until it stopped stopped functioning because it was pretty much dead out of the box and it took about two and a half hours to charge you know I don't think it was even that I think it was like two hours but man oh man was this thing hot jeez it was really really hot so uh, yeah it doesn't take nowhere near as long to charge it as is what they say it does awesome camera I just I just can't in this flip cam kind of a deal you know something to pack around I keep this thing in my coat pocket because I'm still wearing it's still cool enough you wear coats here in Washington State but um, you know if it's, it's slippery it slips in your your uh, pants pocket like if you're wearing blue jeans or whatever it's not too big you know it's about the size of a flip phone and uh, I mean pack it around everywhere and it's you know shock proof or shock resistant you know great dust water protection you know it's great here in the northwest and just go outside in the rain you know wipe the the shield off it appears to be glass it doesn't scratch so it was the uh, the three I, I wipe it off all the time and never scratched it but awesome awesome camera if you're hinging between the three and the five don't cut yourself short get the five well well worth it so uh, anyway if I come up with some more stuff to talk about here in the near future, I will put up another video. Other than that, I've, uh, I'm have i sure I'll edit this some, but I've got 17 minutes of video here, so i got some cutting to do. Um, so, that's it. I'm signing out. <laughs>